guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. This is this week's nail polish of the week. It is CoverGirl's Mint Mojito. It is just a cyan uh, kind of teal color. For some reason, it was putting like these little dots on my nail. I tried my best to fix it. I'm not really sure why it did that, if it's just old, but a little annoying. Other than that, the formula is good and is a super pretty color. For some reason, I was having like a bit of trouble getting it on, if you guys can tell. This is actually a sped up video because I felt like I had to take so much time and care to get this on my nails. And it wasn't uh, leveling very smoothly at all. So I guess I take back what I said about the formula being good. It was easy to paint on is what I meant, but when it dried, it did not self-level at all. It was pretty textured and uneven when it dried. And then there's little dots. I used the second coat. I did kind of make up for it on the second coat. Still the same problems, but on the second coat it did kind of work together more to hide those. I'm sorry for the weird shape my nails are in. This hand actually is in my swatch hand. Uh, two of the nails are longer than the others, and the thumbnail I was trying to shape up and accidentally overshaped it, which is why it looks weird to me. So I apologize, I'm using this hand to swatch on today. But yeah, I, uh bit of a difficult polish. I might try to use some nail thinner, hopefully, but I don't think it's thickness that's the problem here. I think there's just like dry bits of nail polish in there for some reason. But I'll try to see if I can salvage this because it is a pretty color, but the formula is just kind of odd. And here I'm going with the Orly Glossier top coat. And the top coat did save the day. It kind of masked over all the texture. The brush, though, is still pretty small for me. It makes it pretty hard to get an even, uh, dispense of the top coat. Kind of a rough manicure day, not gonna lie. I also kept, like, bumping my nails in between takes, too. It was really irritating. But we pushed through, and the end result is kind of pretty, I guess. I don't think I would give this polish away if I decide I don't want it. I think I'm just gonna sit with it and think about it really hard. But yeah, that is CoverGirl's Mint Mojito. Here's the swatches. Let me know what you guys think, how I can possibly fix this polish, and thank you for watching. Bye!